So this is Al, it's Sunday the uh, uh, it's Sunday after uh, we uh, took the tower down and as you can see we modified it and now both generators, both turbines are catching really good clean air uh, just by taking one down and uh, I didn't have to increase the height and I get into any weird configurations but it's going really good right now so this is an update uh, we took this tower down uh, yesterday and uh, yesterday afternoon we finished it late and uh, we were able to redesign it so that the left turbine that you see there it's uh, off of the airstream of the one on the right or vice versa uh, I would have much rather have gone up higher but the additional height that it would require, it would have required seven feet additional, almost eight feet uh, to clear the turbulence from the from the other turbine and I felt that that would have put too much stress on those uh, uh, on those poles uh, and also on the tubes of the tower itself where the clamps uh, go on to. So I, I played it safe and instead we just made a new bracket, turned it down and that is working absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's 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 totally off of the uh, uh, airflow turbulence from the other turbine. As you can see, they you know they do move uh, fairly well with each other, uh, and they are maintaining uh, the same performance. Um, they're spinning pretty pretty fast right now. Uh, you just can't tell with this camera. Uh, when they really get going, but we're getting some, uh, you know, 12 mile an hour winds, and sometimes it'll gust up to about 16 or so, maybe 18 at the at the most. Uh, but it's actually they're actually running quite well right now, uh, and I've been recording, or well, not recording, but I've been watching uh, the output uh, to be about 20 amps. Uh, most of the time today and it just keeps going on and off on and off between 10 and 20 amps sometimes down to 5 I feel like right now there's probably nothing being made because they just slow down so it's a very gusty day uh, winds go up come down and that's kind of the way it's been throughout the day let's go inside and take a look and see what they're really doing uh, but right now there's Hardly no wind. We're gonna have to wait for a good gust to come in and see if we can catch it. Some wind coming, but not a whole lot. You can see the inverters are going. Uh, they are charging. You can see the amp meters, about 10 amps right now. Fairly steady at 10. Goes up. Uh, 14 uh, but most of the day it's actually most of the morning has been going up to 20 and stuff sometimes higher uh, overall for the amount of wind that we have it's actually a pretty darn good performance uh, I don't think it's gone down you know much more than 5 amps uh, just made a liar out of me right now because the wind died but it doesn't stay down very long and it comes right back up uh, and that's usually in a 10 mile an hour wind I'm seeing about 10 amps give or take a few and that's the voltage we're right now uh, fluctuating yeah so I've been sucking juice since yesterday I've been uh, powering uh, with the uh, inverter so you can see we have the batteries are not fully charged because it's blinking and then this light here on the on the right is the turbine that is charging. That's what it's telling us that we're charging the batteries right now. Um, when there isn't uh, any uh, uh, sufficient voltage in the batteries, then this doesn't even come on. I feel like right now it just barely came on. Uh, this one right here is unsteady. Uh, and then we see that the second turbine is also charging. So the batteries are probably fairly well discharged, but they're being used right now more as a uh, as a cushion 
to regulate my power from the turbines down to an acceptable voltage range to be able to feed my inverters up here. Uh, so things are going well. Uh, you can see the amp meter continues to do its thing. Uh, and uh, overall I'm getting some pretty good uh, pretty good performance out of it. Uh, can't complain about it at all. So I will send an update whenever we get to do the uh, solar panels hopefully in probably a couple of weeks because next week there's another project in the wing which is uh, connect that big old water tank with that pump and move that water softener and get rid of that pressure tank in the back that's causing the uh, pump to cycle too much that pump that I have is way too powerful and there's no matter no matter how I change the air pressure and jack the switch to adjust it, uh, it still cycles too often for me. So, this will allow me to hold about 300 gallons, actually, about 275 when I go up to the top mark uh, up here, probably about 250. And uh, with our consumption, that'll last about a couple of days, day and a half, worst case scenario. Uh, and that will cut down on my electric bill because that pump, when it comes on, it uses a lot of power. So, anyways, thanks.